Alright, so uh, today's video is about what if the world was 90% gay and only 10% were straight? And what if you wanted to come out as a straight person? That, that would be hard, wouldn't it? If you all think about that, right now it's, it's not... Thank you, Mason. Alright, um, well, as you know, 90% of the world is straight, 10% is gay, bi, trans, um, whatever you want to say. Anyways, if you hear noises in the background, it's my squirrels. Anyways, moving on to the topic. What, what, how, how would you react to that? Like, that would be as if coming out as a gay person or a transgender person right now. It's really hard, and not many people can do that. Um, it would be like trying to say that you're gonna marry a goat to your parents. It's like, Mom, Dad, I'm gonna marry a goat, and I have sexual relations with a goat. But instead you're saying, Mom and Dad, I'm straight, and I love a girl, but a boy. That, that would be hard to say to your parents. It's like saying, Today, today is now, Mom, I'm gay. You just can't go up to a person and say, Mom, I'm gay. You gotta, you gotta figure out, you gotta do the whole connect process, you gotta do everything else. Hey! Hey, I'm like treats! You won't get treats! No. You won't get in if you don't stop. So stop. Anyways. It's really hard. You gotta come up with a process. What you're gonna say? What you're gonna do afterwards? How are you feeling about this? Are you sure that you're gay? Are you sure you're transgender? Are you sure about everything? How how are your parents gonna react? Are they gonna kick you out? Are they just gonna are they gonna say, all right, I'll accept you for who you are and who you are? Are you are they gonna give you a hug? You know what? Anyways, being straight is a lot easier than being gay. Cause People aren't... What's that word? They aren't very fond of gay people or anybody in the LGBT community for a fact. Well, what do I say? No traits! Then tonight, Mason gets them. He's gonna continue in like two seconds. Um, anyways. It's a very hard process, and not anybody can do it. So what I'm trying to say is, before you judge someone as gay, by trans, any of those, or any of the above, whatever you want to do, please don't judge them. They have a hard life, and it's very hard for everybody to accept each other, I'm aware, but we can't go around judging people for who they love, and who they want to be when they're older, or what their sexual preferences, their gender preferences, their pronouns for a fact. You can't, like, deny someone for being what they want. Like, when I'm older, and, like, able to, I want to be in the military, and a lot of people tell me I can't do that. Because I don't have the skills, I don't, I'm not the fittest person in the world. They're not putting me down, because they don't think I can do that. But I know for a fact I can. And all that matters is what you think about yourself. Not what other people think. Not what you want other people to think. It's about yourself and not others around you. Like I said, and the people who judge you, forget about them. I know they're eating away at you and they can see that. They want that. They crave your attention and that's what they want. They want you to like, be upset, depressed have anxiety, they want all that. That's like just giving a kid candy and letting a bowl run through a china shop. It's not fun. Nobody likes it. And bullying isn't fun for a fact. So before you bully someone, you better stop and think how would that affect you in your own life. You don't know what that person goes through but day by day. They could be at home, they could be abused at home, they could do anything at home, like, they could be ab abused at school, they could be abused by anybody, they could have depression, they could have anxiety, you never know, like, we're all human, why don't we act it? 